Also, Cancer Awareness Month. It's a form of cancer that is on the rise among young people. A report by the American Cancer Society shows about 3,700 people younger than 50 died of colorectal cancer back in 2023, just last year. Now, two people are on a mission to raise awareness and save lives through the Be Seen Care initiative. Joining us to continue this important conversation is Marissa Peters and David Thau, who are both <laughs> cancer survivors and advocates. Good morning to you both today. Before we dive into the awareness factor of this, Marissa and David, share your stories with our viewers. Tell us how it inspired uh, both of you to advocate for yourself and others. Marissa, let's start with you. Thanks again for having us on. Uh, my story is one where symptoms persisted for over five years before receiving my diagnosis of stage three rectal cancer as a 39-year-old mom of three little boys, followed by a 11 months of pretty gruesome treatment, and it's become abundantly clear that all of this was preventable. So we've started the Be Seen initiative in order to spread awareness. So hopefully others don't have to go through what David and I went through. David, what about you? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, my story is very similar to Marissa's. Um, I was diagnosed uh, stage 3C colon cancer uh, at age 34, but I'd had symptoms for four years. Um, I had uh, bleeding, uh, blood in my stool. I had uh, anemia, uh, which presented itself through extreme fatigue. Um, I had severe stomach pain that would build and build and build and then dissipate. Um, and I went in, I got uh, tested uh, for a lot of things. Uh, I just didn't get the test that would have shown uh, that this was uh, colon cancer. Uh, and there was really no awareness, uh, you know, certainly not for me, but also uh, for my primary care and the other doctors that I saw that this was an issue that was on the rise. And so that's why Marissa and I are, are trying to tackle uh, this and, and make sure that people know the symptoms and know uh, that they need to get screened because it could save their lives. Yeah, so more on that spreading awareness. What some of our viewers may not know is that colorectal cancers are the leading cancer-related cause of death in people under age 50, even if you are healthy, and you both sound like you are very right. healthy. So can you talk with us about the importance of getting a colonoscopy or Cologuard test, and is this type of cancer treatable? It absolutely is treatable, and the key is early detection in this journey. Um, far too many people, specifically moms, are being diagnosed at stage four where there isn't a lot of optionality to continue to live the life that they're leading today. And so taking those preventative steps are absolutely critical to knowing if you're 45 years old, you get to get a colonoscopy now. That age has been lowered. If you have a family history of polyps or colon or rectal cancer, that's something to be discussed with your primary caregiver and to put a plan in place that allows you to know as early as possible what's going on inside of your body. And we had great doctors taking care of both David and I, and they still were unable to use the test that would have indicated to us earlier um, that something was really wrong inside of our bodies and that it was cancer in our cases. We know that time can certainly be of the essence here. David, I'm wondering if you can talk about this in terms of the symptoms that people should look out for. And when do you know that it's actually time to go see a doctor? Yeah, so, and this is one of the things that's a real issue, especially among young people, right? I was a 30-year-old, uh, otherwise healthy guy. Um, the idea of going to the doctor uh, if something felt a little bit off uh, was pretty foreign to me. Uh, but I did go uh, several times, and, and one of the things that Marissa and I are, are, are talking about is the need to, to advocate uh, for yourself and to push for uh, that screening. Uh, so, as I said, my, my symptoms were anemia, uh, which really uh, manifested itself through extreme fatigue. I mean, going up a flight of stairs left me double over and winded, uh, which was never the case before. Um, blood in the school, in the stool, uh, blood in the toilet, um, a change in bowel habits, um, the uh, the extreme uh, pain that I felt uh, in my stomach. I, I was throwing up uh, a lot, um, but those are really kind of the key symptoms. And this is really scary because look, pe doctors don't know why. Uh, there's this rise in colorectal cancer, especially among young people. But what we absolutely know, as Marissa said, is that if you get screened, if you get tested early, uh, this is preventable. Uh, a colonoscopy or Cologuard uh, will show uh, early stage cancer. A colonoscopy will show polyps and they can biopsy those polyps or they can even take them out. And so you're buying yourself time. 
uh, and peace of mind by going in and getting screened um, and leaving with a clean bill of health. Or if it's something worse, they'll at least catch it early. Yeah. Well, thank you both for sharing your experience. 30 years old, it's just, it's just astonishing to me. And, and Marissa, why don't you just close us out here? Where can people find more about your initiative? So they can visit bseen.care or follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get involved in the movement. We're inviting people to take the pledge to commit to prioritizing their health. And we're on a mission to try and reach 100,000 people in that pledge. So please go understand the symptoms, what to do. You'll hear more stories of people like David and I on that site. And we'd really appreciate everyone's help. We believe that we can eradicate this and find a cure for colon and rectal cancer. And it will take time. But today, there are things that you can do to take care of yourself and the people that you love. Thank you so much for sharing all that information with us.